Hello everyone! Welcome to Let's Trade Pokemon with Myself using the VBA Link emulator. Hey Zeg! I got it working! Anyway, I can't stand to look at this. View, arrange icons by type, view, details! Ah, my OCD is satiated. And by the way, my regional settings are Japanese. That's not really going to affect anything here, but I wanted to point that out myself before someone says, WHAT ARE ALL THOSE CRAZY SYMBOLS?! Now here are the two files I'm starting with. My Pokemon ROM, and my VBA Link compressed file with all of its VBA Link goodness. I'm using VBA Link 1.7.2 for this. If you want VBA Link 1.7.2, that's great. Go to the VBA Link website. You want to know how to get to the VBA Link website? Use Google. I will not honor any questions about how do I get this? Any PMs, comments, or anything other things that say, how do I get this? I will laugh and reply, use the Google. So, let's get started by unzipping the file. I use 7-zip because I like 7-zip. If you use WinRAR, that's perfectly fine. Extract here. Now, okay, we have this. So what I will be doing in this video is explaining how to configure your emulator to get this to work, and then showing what you have to do to trade Pokemon with yourself. So let's open the emulator and get started. So it opens that up, and it creates this any file here. That's our initialization file that saves the, setting, saves the initialization settings that the emulator has when it opens up. We need to configure this thing, and there are four big steps we need to go through to get this to work with Pokemon. So let's go. Step one, options, emulator. Make sure pause when inactive window is unchecked. Okay, step one is done. Step two, options, emulator, real time clock, check. Step three, options, emulator, save type, 128K, check. Step four, Options, Game Boy, GBA. All right, now we need to configure our controller. I'm using a PlayStation 2 controller hooked up to a USB adapter. That doesn't really matter, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you know what you're doing when you configure your controls. So let's configure the controls now. Options, Joypad, default Joypad 1. This is Joypad 1 because it corresponds to this VBA1.ini over here. So Joypad, configure, Joypad 1. I'm using, like I said, I'm using my PlayStation 2 controller with a USB adapter, so I will map the buttons now. Up, down, left, right, A, B, L, R, hit it, select, start. And I'm not gonna mess with the other three because I don't need them. Okay, we configured the controls. Now, let's enlarge this so it'll show up on the video and look good. Okay, now we have that. So let's test it out. File open, Pokemon. Okay, it looks like it's starting up. There's a star thing, there's a Venusaur. Okay, looks like it works. I already have save files uh, up to the point where I can save, so this is just a test. Let's exit. Now when we exit, it created two files. It created this SA1 file. That's the save file corresponding. This is the save file corresponding to this ROM. I'm going to delete this because I already have save files that I prepared in advance. So we'll replace that one. Now this is another initialization file thing that it created after I closed it. So open this up. See how this has our same settings from before? Options, emulator, real-time clock is on, pause when an active window is off, save type is 128K, Game Boy is set to GBA. So our settings are all there. Now we need to open up a second one because we need two emulators if we're going to trade with ourselves. So open up another emulator. Here's our first one. Here's our second one. We need to configure this one too, so let's go through that really quickly. So to review, options, emulator, Pause when inactive window, unchecked. Real time clock, checked. So that's steps one and two. Step three, options, emulator, save type, 128K, check. Step four, options, Game Boy, GBA. 
Now I need to configure the controls for this one too. Joypad, default joypad 2. This is our second one. See how they created this vva2.ini? This, this has separate initialization settings for this other case of the emulator that we have open. So go to Options, Joypad Configure, Joypad 2. I will be using my keyboard for this. Up, down, left, right, right. You use the X key, the Z key, the A key, and the S key, the Shift key, Shift key, and Enter key. Good. So that we have that configured, now the last thing we need to do is make this so it'll show up good. All right, these look pretty good. It's looking fine. They're all fitting in my screen recorder. Okay, good. Now, like I said, I already created some save files and got up to the point where I can save in a separate file. So let's open that up here. See, I already have them selected here. We have our SA1 and our SA2. The SA1 is one instance of the save file and the SA2 is another instance of the same of the save file from the same ROM. So let's select those and I'm going to control click and drag them over. That way I'll have the original files in case I mess up something here. So we have our SA1 and our SA2. We have our VBA1.ini and our VBA2.ini. So this VBA1, you know what, all right, arrange icons by type, arrange icons by type. Okay, whatever. There, now it's a little more organized. OCD, you know. Now open these back up. So this is our first one, our VBA1, and this is our VBA2. So this one will connect with this SA1, and the second one will connect with this SA2. So without more yapping about it, let's start it up. Before that, with more yapping, options, link. I'm going to set this to 10,000. I don't know if you really need to, but, you know, if you want to be safe, or for the sake of having it be over 9,000, you can set it to 10,000. Notice that I also have it set to one computer since I'm trading with myself. Okay, we're good. And let's, yeah. Yeah, let's set those both. Okay, good. Now, let's start it up. Open Pokemon. Okay, it's starting up. We're looking good. Skip this, skip this. And let's see. Okay, Mario. And into Mario. Let's start it up. Mario, right in Meridian City. Mario, blah, 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 it's fossil. I'm gonna skip through this. Save a time. Mario saved this point in, in Meridian City. Okay, now I will open up the other one. Open. Pokemon. Uh, there, drag this so you can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, by the way, I am titled my folder for this Pokemon just to piss people off. Alright, skip through this. So I'm using the keyboard now to advance through this thing. And I named this one Luigi. The reason my time is so high on this is because I spent so much time messing around with trying to get this stuff to work. I'm not going to have too much time for this, but I can show at least most of it in this video. Okay, now we're both here. So, get my mouse a little out of the way. So the one on the top... This one here corresponds to this SA1 file. The one on the bottom corresponds to this SA2. S... Ugh, OCD! All right, now let's talk to the lady. Welcome to the Pokemon Cable Club. Which of our services do you wish to use? Trade Center. Would you like to save the game? You gotta save. That's why my time is up so high. This is okay to overwrite? You bet. Saving. Don't turn off the power! Mario, save the game. Mario! Please wait. Now I will go over to Luigi and talk. I'm pressing buttons on my controller and on my keyboard at the same time. Which I would like to use the Trade Center. Would you like to save the game? Yes. There's already... Yes, I gotta override it. And... Saving... Go on. Luigi! Save the game. Please wait. All right. When all players are ready, A button confirm, B button cancel. I'm confirming, 2P, 2P link, looks good. Start link with two players, A button confirm, B button cancel. Hit the A button. This is on my, this is on my top one. And we both walk in. And here we are. I'm probably gonna have to 
cut this into two videos now.